Hey guys, back here with Tua for another video. Update, pup date time, week 39. If you are new to this channel, I do this style video every single Sunday on my bull mastiff Tua. Basically just updating you guys as he turns another week older. And I do these style videos not only for myself to look back on one day, but to try to create a great log of information for any other people that may be interested in the bull mastiff breed. Um, I update you guys on all sorts of things, such as his physical size, his weight, his height, what I feed him, um, what I do for socialization, and then things like his energy level, drooling, his barking, just a lot of things that uh, people might be interested in learning about if they're interested in getting a bull mastiff. I know I had a lot of questions going into getting him, so uh, like I said, just trying to create a great log of information uh, about a bull mastiff and my experience with them. And uh, it'll just be a lot of videos that you can look back on if you're wondering, I wonder what a bull mastiff was like at nine weeks or 12 weeks or 15 weeks or 30 weeks or like he is today, 39 weeks. You can go and see what I experienced during that week. Usually when I do these videos, I start out with just some newer stuff from the week or just things that I think I should make note of. Um, we put his socialization to the test this week. Last night, actually, my wife had her fantasy football draft. So we had about uh, 12 or 13 people over, and that was the most people we've ever had like in our house with Tua here, and he did really good. I actually kept him on his leash initially for probably like the first half hour because he loves people so much, and I didn't want him like jumping on anybody or getting in anybody's face kind of thing. And after about a half hour, I was able to take him off his leash, and he was pretty calm now that he was used to like everybody being in the house. And he did really good. He was pretty chill for the most part, like I said, after that initial half hour of kind of being wild. And then he did great. He's just a really good people dog. So I was very uh, impressed with the way that he acted around all those people that he didn't know. So it's just really nice to see that all the time and effort that we put into socializing him properly has uh, kind of been paying off. Like I said, really proud of him, the way he reacted to you know, all those people that he's never met before in his house, uh, did great with them, acted like he'd known them all his life. So really nice to see that. Uh, shedding is also something that I haven't talked about in a while now. Tua is a shedder, um, but not like terrible, not like a lab or like a German Shepherd or anything like that. I do notice that if I don't brush him at least once a week, I'll start to notice it on my clothes and stuff if he's sitting with me. Things like that. Um, I don't really notice it around the house, like on the floor or anything. But we do vacuum the house, you know, I'd say weekly. So I, I bet if we went, you know, two or three weeks, we would maybe notice it. But it's definitely not like any sort of intent shedding that I've noticed at least to this point. But we'll see how that uh, increases as he gets older. Now we'll go ahead and touch on the things that I do every single week, starting with weight. Last week he was 109 pounds. This week he's 111, so he's up two. Um, getting to be a really big boy. His dad was about 150, so I'm guessing that uh, he'll get to be about that. So, you know, we have another 39, 40 pounds to go here. So I'm excited to watch him continue growing. Food is another thing that I touch on every single week. This week I kept it really simple. All I did was ground beef and eggs. And uh, obviously his kibble as well. And I'm still at about a 60-40 split with raw food and kibble. I would say 60% kibble, 40% raw. Um, I've been doing this now for quite a while with him. He's never had any bad reactions to any kind of raw food that I've given him. And I've given him a lot. I mean, uh, pretty much any kind of chicken you can think of, fish, beef, uh, just go ahead and check out all the videos if you're interested uh, and ask me if you have any questions about raw as well. I'm not an expert on it by any means like I always say but uh, I've done a lot of research and I'm pretty comfortable doing it now. Socialization this week was a pretty good week. Obviously the draft that I was just talking about with uh, my wife having a bunch of people over. Um, and I did get him out on a few walks this week and we passed by people and dogs on all of those walks. However, we weren't able to do like any sort of interaction. A lot of the time when I'm walking him, and I've touched on this a few times in other videos, it seems like people like tend to avoid us. And I think it's just because he's a really big dog and I guess to people that don't know him, he may seem sort of intimidating. Or maybe it's just their dog too. Maybe their dogs aren't big dog, uh, dog dogs, I guess. And, and they know that, so they want to avoid 
but he does really great with dogs. Never had any issue with him showing any signs of aggression at all towards any dogs that we've ever encountered, or people for that matter. And when we are passing by people and dogs on these walks, he will do a little bit of pulling, but uh, we've walked him so much in the past, I kind of know how to handle him when we're passing these people so that he's not like really, really pulling. I just try to get very verbal with him, uh, very excited, try and keep his focus on me as much as I can. And uh, he's, he's been really great uh, to walk, even, even if we're passing by people or, or other animals or dogs or whatever that he's excited to see. Not too much for pulling, so he's been really great. But again, he isn't naturally that way. It's a lot of time and effort on uh, my part, my wife's part, to go ahead and get him trained in that way. Drooling is another thing that I touch on every single week. Um, Tua is a drooler, but only in certain, uh, certain instances. Mainly his drooling is related around water. Immediately after he's drinking water, he'll have it dripping from his jowls. Um, and it does get pretty intense after that. Or if he's waiting for his food, if he sees me preparing it, he'll start to get a little bit of dripping out of his jowls. Um, also, if he's panting heavily, if it's hot, we're walking him, he'll get some drool going then. And then the only other time is when he's stressed out. And that was just one time when there were some fireworks going on around our house. And uh, he got a little bit stressed out and there's a little bit of drool coming from his jowls then. His energy this week uh, continued to kind of be overall down. He definitely has his, uh, his energy burst here and there, but for the most part, he's a pretty chill dog. Um, and he's, he's kind of growing into that bull massive breed standard of being, you know, a little bit on the lazier side. And I'm noticing that um, kind of progressively getting that way week to week. He was in a teenager phase, I'd say a couple months ago, where his energy level was very high, but I, I think that that peaked, you know, a month or two ago. And since then, he's continued with it going down. Barking is the last thing that I touch on every single week. Um, he does bark, but he's not much of a barker. He's not the type of dog that'll sit out in the yard and just bark at everything for no reason. Um, he tends to bark if he hears sounds that are kind of like unknown and he's in our yard or in our house. Or if he's playing with other dogs, then he'll let out some barks and stuff at the dogs. But uh, outside of our house, if we're on walks or anything like that, he will not bark at anybody or anything, really. Um, it's, it's all related around our house and around our yard, and I would assume that that's kind of just him, you know, the guarding instinct in him. Other than that, guys, that's all I have for the week. As usual, if there's anything that you want me to update you guys on, other than the stuff that I already do, go ahead and let me know. Otherwise, take care, guys. Thanks for watching.